you um, and I have loads of quotes that the, your belief, the policy of Sinn Féin is public medicine, no private medicine, e- equal access for all, no privilege, etc., etc., etc. Even though 52, well, not anymore, but 52% of the public had, had private insurance. And then they discover that privately, in a very expensive fashion, you went off to have a particular procedure. Well, first of all, I didn't discover it. Sinn Féin declared as part of our uh, arrangement with the Department of Justice in the U- USA uh, that I had been there. And it's, it's quite simple. You, you, you misrepresent, if I may say so, Sinn Féin position. And it remains my position. It's for a universal yep. health care. It's for a public health service of the very, very highest standard available to all citizens. Our objection is that public money should not be spent on private medicine. If someone wants to go and be dealt with privately, that's a matter for them as long as they are paying uh, for it. Now, the fixation by the media on the state of my health... Uh, no, was. I'm not talking about the state of your health because you you look to be in the pink and I, and I wish you good health. Thank you. Um, and, and people's health is something they look after. But it's the notion that for everybody else... No, that isn't the case, Maureen. The policy should be for universal access, but for people of privilege that can go off to the state. No, and no, I, no, no, let me explain this because I, I, funny enough, I've had a number of procedures uh, this year... Uh, one when I had an accident on my, my bike and went through a really amazing experience, which meant, among other things, that I ended up in the hospital trolley, which was uh, an education in itself. The other one was when I had my eyes fixed. I'm starting to went through a number of running repairs. And I have had a long-standing and very, very painful complaint. And I go back and forth, as you know, to the States once or twice a year. And one of my friends introduced me to uh, a doctor, his doctor, who was dealing with these issues, and he recommended that I should have a process of a particular kind. In fact, he said it was long overdue, and I, I was in constant pain. I've been in constant pain for the last uh, maybe five uh, years, and I checked with my uh, doctor, and the, at that time, the treatment of this kind was not available in the north. It wasn't available. And my doctor here quite rightly recommended that I should get the very best treatment possible. And he accepted the, 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 the U.S. consultant's recommendation that it be done with all speed. It didn't cost the taxpayer a penny. Well, uh, I understand that it costs in the region of 30000 Well, uh, I didn't pay for it, Marion. A very, very good friend of mine, a man called Bill Flynn, uh, very kindly paid for it. I haven't told anybody that uh, before. Uh, I, because I, I was I, trying to do the maths. Well, I, well, I if you're only getting 33,000 yeah. as your income yeah. and you've a house in Donegal, a house in Belfast, I was just wondering how one could have 30,000 change yeah. in well, one's back well, pocket. I mean, so, so you see a slight, maybe hopefully you see a slightly different context that I, I, I have this complaint. I have a, a very, very good friend. Uh, he, he says to me, get this done. I'll pick up the top. I, I'm, I'm beholden myself and my wife and my family are eternally grateful for him for uh, doing that. I'm still in recovery, but I am doing uh, very uh, well. Yes, we do have two houses, but I have to say, I'm currently in negotiation for the bank over the house in Donegal because we're in deep trouble over the house in Donegal and one of my ambitions is to keep that house at all costs, not for me, but because my grandkids and my family and my son and daughter-in-law and Clet and all the rest of us use it, and it's a great bolt tool uh, for us. I don't get there uh, often enough. So that's the story of you know of the the procedure, and I mean, and, I, and I, I restate my position: we want a wraparound from cradle to the grave public health uh, service. Right.